I'm 53 years old, and these are five things that I'm too grown for. The first thing is hate. Yes, hate. I don't have time for hate. You know, it's such a toxic emotion. I may dislike your actions. I might dislike the things you do or say, but I'm going to try my best to love you for who you are and let you hate if you need to hate. I'm not going to do all that. I don't want to waste those emotions. I'm too grown to lie about my age, okay? I was already in my 30s when I started social media in 2006. And as I was, you know, talking to people, working with people, I met a lot of people who became really big YouTubers. One time I was working with someone, they were like, oh, don't ever tell anybody your age on here, you know? Let them believe that you're this age. And I'm like, you know, I don't have time for that. I'm working on elder status. You know what I'm saying? I do not mind being my age. I feel good, I look good, and I feel like seeing older people on the internet helps sometimes younger people realize that you know it's not such a bad thing to get older. I am too grown to worry about what you think about me. You know, there's an old saying that's really true. What you think about me is none of my business. So if people are saying things behind my back, or people are making up things, or people are saying something that might be true that I'm doing, listen, I'm grown. I'm going to do what I want to do. You don't have to like it. As long as I like it, that's all that matters. I'm too grown to trade negativity for negativity. Listen. I try my best to be the best person that I can be in order to keep a nice glow aura around me in order to keep positivity coming my way. So if you are negative to me, my first instinct might be I'm going to cuss you out or something like that. But I try my best to make funny of it, make light of it, make you laugh or say something sometimes sarcastically snarky, but that's more on the funny side instead of being hateful. Because listen, you get back what you give out. Karma is a thing. So I try to give out as much positivity as I can so that then that comes back to me tenfold. And last of all, there's so much more, but I am too grown to be trying to fix people. You know, there are those people out there who always meet somebody and they want to make that person better. I try to make people better by showing them better, by doing better, by being better. I don't talk about it. I be about it. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm trying to express to someone that they can do this in a different way, take it in a more positive light, da da da. If they ask for advice, I'm going to give them advice. But I'm not going to try to fix you. I am not going to try to make you better. People are not going to become better until they want to become better. So you can give them advice. You can help them out. You can support them. But you have to love them for who they are in this moment. Once they start to experience that unconditional love, then they will become better. All right, I know it took me a while to come around to this trend, but I wanted to do it thoughtfully, think about the things that I wanted to say, and just be very truthful and upfront and honest with you. So I hope you enjoy this. If anybody else wants to do it, go ahead and jump on it and send it to me.